Don't you just hate it when you get a filament run out error? This is Uri Tirosh with IOLAMA and today I'm going to talk about filament errors on the Snapmaker 2 and how to fix them. So we have three printers here at IOLAMA HQ. We have the Ender 5 Pro, we have a modified FleshForge Creator Pro, and we have the Snapmaker 2. We recently moved from Lubin to Cura for the Snapmaker. It helps us streamline the work across all three printers. I used the excellent Cura profile from John Eldred. Check out the link in the card above. Immediately after starting to use Cura, I started getting filament runout warnings. They did not go away, even after I reloaded the filament. Not that it was out to begin with, but sure, why not? I loaded the filament again, and again, and again. It got to the point where the printer became almost unusable. If you got a similar error, let us know how you solve it in the comments below. I'm going to show you the three steps I took to fix this really annoying issue. The first thing I thought about was that the filament sensor was getting confused. The original filament holder by Snapmaker leaves a lot to be desired. And the filament keeps getting tangled. I printed a filament guide and a spool holder by DA96JDM. I'm going to put the links in the description below. It involves an arm that you fix to the Snapmaker with a set of M4 bolts. This arm makes sure that the filament does not get trapped or stuck. The other part is a spool holder that helps the filament run smoothly. I hoped that this would make things better. It didn't. I then took it to open the extruder attachment and look inside. You can see that as the filament comes into the extruder from different directions, the micro switch is triggered. Snapmaker has a video that shows you how to adjust the filament micro switch, but mine was perfectly okay. I reverted to the last option, and that is to remove the filament runout sensor altogether. To do this, you need some kind of a Merlin agent. I opted for Pronterface. You can Google it and get the right file for Windows, Linux, or Mac. After downloading the binary, you just place it in any directory and start software. As you can see, there are some basic controls for the printer, but we are just going to use the terminal. If you have Octopi, you can use the terminal there as well. The Marlin command for the sensor is M412. If you type M412, the printer will tell you if the filament sensor is on or off. So type M412S0 to disable it. You can always re-enable it with an M412S1 command. The last step was adding this command to my Cura profile to make sure that the sensor is disabled with every run. I hope this guide helped you battle any filament runout errors with your Snapmaker 2. Now hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe, just hit all the buttons on the screen. This is Ayo Lama and I hope to see you again in the next video.